Now <clears throat> we will move to the next part of Ehrenfest theorem. The classical equation is dpx over dt is minus partial v over partial x. We get this equation from here. We know that force is negative gradient of potential. Uh, the force in x direction will be minus partial v over partial x. But force itself is in dp over dt. So instead of force, we re replace force by dp x over dt. And on this side, we have minus partial v over partial x. Now according to Ehrenfest theorem, this equation is also valid in quantum mechanics. But there is a condition that the classical variable like Px in x component of momentum and potential v will be replaced by their expectation value. This is like this. Now we will prove this one. As we know that the expectation value of of momentum is we have px which will be equal to integral volume integral okay psi steric p of x psi data and we know that this is the momentum operator okay so here we have the momentum operator now the momentum operator is given by minus iota h bar partial by partial x the x component of momentum operator if we put it in above equation px will be equal to in volume integral and we have psi steric and we have minus iota h bar partial by partial x and we have psi and theta or this can be written as minus iota h bar I will bring it outside of the integral so we have psi steric partial psi over partial x Now differentiating this equation, this differentiating both sides by with respect to time. Then we have d p of x over dt which will be equal to minus iota h bar integral d over dt of psi steric partial psi over partial x and we have d tau uh, if we apply this differential operator on this one we have minus iota h bar integral the integral is volume integral okay and we have first function differential of the first second so I will apply uh, I can write it partial by partial t and we have partial psi over partial x and we have plus uh, this differential of the first partial psi steric over partial t and we have partial psi over partial x and we have d tau now this is equal to minus iota h bar integral psi steric and here I will this is differential with respect to x and this is partial differential with respect to t so we replace this differential operator so I can write it as it is partial by partial x partial psi over partial t and then plus partial psi steric over partial t into partial psi over partial x and we have d tau now I can write it here the last expression d p of x over dt is equal to minus iota h bar volume integral psi steric partial by partial x partial psi over partial t plus partial psi steric over partial t and partial psi over partial x and we have d tau now let's suppose this is equation number one now from, this, from Schrodinger equation I can write it as uh, in a more compact way. 
I will bring this minus i touch bar inside. So we have integral, volume integral, and we have psi steric. This is a constant quantity, so I can bring it here. Uh, and I keep the negative sign outside. Partial by partial x, and I bring this iota h bar here. Partial psi over partial t. Okay. Plus iota h bar, partial psi steric over partial t. This one, and partial psi over partial x, and we have d tau. This is equation number one. Now the time dependent Schrodinger equation is uh, iota h bar partial by partial psi over partial t is equal to minus h bar square over 2m del square psi plus v of psi. Let's say this is equation number 2. And ta taking complex conjugate we have minus iota h bar partial psi steric over partial t is equal to minus h bar square over 2m del square psi steric plus v into psi steric. Uh, I can bring minus to this side so we have iota h bar partial psi steric over partial t which is equal to h bar square over 2m del square psi steric and we have minus v into psi steric. This is equation number 3. Now using equation 2 and 3 we have if we put equation 2 and 3 and equation 1 like instead of this I will put equation 2 because this is, is here and instead of this I will put this equation here. So we have d p x over dt which will be equal to minus integral of we have now if I put it above we have I will write it directly okay minus h bar square over 2m and we have psi steric del square psi del square partial psi by partial x oh no sorry if I put it in, in above then we have dpx over dt will be equal to minus integral and we have psi steric this one and we have partial by partial x this one and now instead of this I will put this one which is minus h bar square over 2m del square psi plus v of psi okay and then we have plus instead of this I will put this one which is h bar square over 2m del square psi steric minus v into psi steric and we have this term partial psi by partial x partial x we have this bracket closed and we have this d tau now if we simplify it we have minus into integral of minus h bar square over 2m okay and we have psi steric and this quantity I can write it like this del square partial psi over partial x I bring this first and this operator second and we have psi now there is no psi, yeah, partial psi by partial x. And then we have plus psi steric and we have partial by partial x v psi. And then we have this term which is plus h bar square over 2m and we have this del square psi steric and we have this partial psi by partial x this one and we have minus v psi steric and we have partial psi over partial x and this is d tau if we simplify it 
or if we we can write it as like this we have this minus integral and here we have minus h bar square over 2m and we have psi steric and we have del square partial psi over partial x plus if I apply this operator on this one we have psi steric and we have uh, v partial psi over partial x and then we have another term plus psi steric partial v over partial x and then we have psi and we have this term now which is plus h bar square over 2m del square psi steric and partial psi over partial x and we have this term minus v psi steric partial psi over partial x and we have d tau now if you look at here if you look at here then v psi steric partial psi over partial x v psi steric partial v psi over partial x will get cancelled with each other so the final expression is minus integral of h bar square root m and we have this term we have these two terms okay h bar square root 2m is common in both these terms so I can write uh, uh, so this term first because we take h bar square root 2m common from these two terms so this is positive terms which is daily square psi steric and we have partial psi over partial x and we have this minus psi steric del square partial psi over partial x this one and we have this term no this is in this bracket okay and we have this term here plus psi steric partial v over partial x psi and we have this bracket and d tau uh, so I'll move forward. Uh, I will stop the video here. In the next video, I'll move forward from this equation.